what is tumor a tumor with a beautiful histopath diagram so we are definitely going to learn it so welcome to dentozen let's learn histopath diagram of warthin's tumor subscribe to dentozen that will motivate me to make more videos for you also follow me on instagram and facebook let's learn histopath diagram of warthin's tumor now this tumor slivery gland tumor has two components epithelial component and lymphoid component so epithelial component is in the form of papillary projections that is finger like projections and this epithelial component is made up of two layers of epithelium papillary projections lined by bilayered epithelium that means two layers of epithelium and where is this epithelium papillary projections open they are opening into cystic spaces so cystic spaces can be seen where these papillary projections of epithelium are projecting cystic spaces which contains eosinophilic material they contain pink material then the second component is the lymphoid aggregate which is seen in the connective tissue stroma lymphoid aggregate in connective tissue stroma so let's see these features one by one let's draw them so first is papillary projections they are made up of bilayered epithelium so first we'll make papillary projections finger like projections of the epithelium from both the sides we can see uh, show epithelium projecting into the cystic lumen which is the central space and it can be filled with pink material Now let's draw the epithelium. So in epithelium we have one layer which is made up of cuboidal cells projecting like this and second layer which is made up of tall cells, columnar cells like this and which is towards the cystic lumen. So all these cells will be columnar cells. So this is one projection, one sided projection on one side and then we can draw the same thing on the on this side also. So one layer of these cells. Then above that we have another layer which is made up of tall cells. So here we can see that we have two layers of epithelium, one which is projecting towards the lumen that is made up of tall cells. So this is also called inner layer of epithelium. This is also called inner layer. And the one which is away from the cystic space is called outer layer. Now let's draw the nuclei. So we can draw the nuclei. These inner layer cells will have nuclei which will show palisading arrangement. That means all the nuclei will be at same level. You can see here we have to draw all the nuclei like this. So you can make the similar thing in this one that is palisading arrangement of the inner layer inner layer which is made up of columnar cells outer layer which is away from the cystic space and is on the outside that's why it's called outer then we have the second component which is made up of lymphoid aggregates which is found in the connective tissue. So we can make lot of lymphoid aggregates here in the connective tissue. Now within these lymphoid aggregates we can also make some blood vessels 
So first let's make the lymphoid aggregate. It is made up of. So that is how we are going to draw lymphoid aggregate. On both sides. And we can also draw some blood vessels. So this is one of the characteristic features of this tumor which helps in the histopath diagnosis. So we can make some blood vessels here. can draw the nuclei of the endothelial cells of blood vessels we can fill RBCs here and we can make some fibers of the connective tissue So that is what is tumor for us. Let's label all the features. So first is papillary projections lined by bilayered epithelium. It has inner layer which is towards the lumen made up of columnar cells and outer layer which is away from the cystic space. Then second feature is cystic spaces containing eosinophilic material. And the third feature is lymphoid aggregate. So that is how we draw what is tumor in histopath. So if you really like the video, tap on the like button and keep following Dentozen for more videos. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.